Hello, good morning, evening, afternoon, or otherwise, everybody. Happy Klonoa Day! Well, Klonoa Day was yesterday, but... Never in a million years did I think Klonoa would get another remaster. Slash re-release, slash whatever you want to call it. Because it's such an obscure IP, you know? And I want to say you're welcome, first of all, for single-handedly being the person who brought uh, Klonoa back to the forefront. It was me, and only me. I did it, thanks to my one video essay on the game. Absolute wahoo moment. <laughs> Also, how's the audio sound, by the way? It, it looks as though it's fairly similar, like the game could be turned down a bit, so I'm gonna do that. Maybe this is better? Noisy? Okay. Is this better?
Much better? Okay, awesome. I remember that Catacarus video that he's like, Clanoa? Clanow? Clano, You know, that one. Anyway, uh, I am so excited to play. I love this game as a kid, at least the second one. So, I'm gonna make a con- I'm gonna ha I'm gonna make a confession, guys. I'm a fraud. I have never played the first Klonoa game. I know bits and pieces of it, um, from what I understand from what I saw in, like, videos and stuff, but I've never played the first one. Um... I never had the first one. The first one came out on PS1 and was a very interesting take on 2.5D because they still used sprites. Like, they had a 3D environment, but the characters were still 2D sprites. Um, it was only in the second game that they finally went full-on 3D. But if you don't know what Klonoa is, Klonoa is a 2.5D uh, kind of action platformer, puzzle platformer. Um all about grabbing enemies and using them to propel yourself all over the place. It's been compared to Kirby. I wouldn't say it's very Kirby-like. It's kind of like its own thing. There's not a lot of platformers like Klonoa, except for the Cat in the Hat P uh, Wii game that came out that basically ripped off uh, Klonoa's mechanics. But you'll see what I mean when we get into it. And it is, not only is it a very unique uh, platformer, in the sense of its mechanics. It's also a unique platformer in the sense that it is incredibly emotionally heavy. <laughs> it is a game that tackles certain subject matter in its story that like you would not expect for a game that looks like this. Um, and it's rare that you find a platformer with kind of good writing. So, um, yeah, we're gonna play the first game. I've never played it before, but I know- I already know the plot and story of the first game, kind of generally. But, uh, yeah. Let's go. Look at the boy! There it is. God, so they released a remake, remaster, re-release, whatever you want to call it, on the Wii. Uh, a while ago. I think it was 2008, 2009, something like that, 2011. And uh, it was like ugly. <laughs> it was high, it was one of those games that like it's high res and high quality textures and, and um, graphics and stuff, but um, it was kind of gray. It was kind of drowned out the colors. And also they gave Klonoa like a weird like young adult um 20 year old voice in the english version which i really didn't like but um yeah it had japanese and uh, and english voice acting which klonoa is not they 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 speak like a their own like japanese ish simlish in a way it's like gibberish it's like japanese gibberish but um yeah, I think it's got its own charm, and I much prefer the, like, Klonoa gibberish lang language. But yeah. Let's go. Uh, easy? There are modes? You're good at action games. Oh, that's right. So in the first Klonoa game, you had, like, six hearts? Five hearts? I don't know. So I guess normal mode is, like, the Klonoa 2 version, where you, um only have three hearts. Wow, that's actually, that's like 12 hearts because each heart can take three hits. So this is six hearts. So this is more in line with um, what I'm used to. Does that mean there's a hard mode? Klonoa is not, uh, make no mistake, Klonoa is never really like an incredibly hard game. But um, yeah, I'm gonna play normal mode. Yes, oh wait, yes. Why is no on the on the left? A fast forward button, all right. I mean, you could always skip cutscenes in the in the game. All right, Klonoa, door to Phantom Isle. Also, the music in this game, in both the games are fantastic. Sometimes I know I've had a dream, but I just can't remember it. Where do these dreams go? But I do remember this one dream so clearly, as if I saw it with my own eyes. There 
there he is! The boy! Yeah. Meteorite strikes Klonoa and he dies. The end. I also like all his wahoo. <laughs> I love his all his random isms. Also, wahoo is a word in his language, apparently. That means let's go or something. It's you, Paul. I don't understand why they made the Wii remake Klonoa 1 with the design of Klonoa 2. No, they didn't. They actually made a new unique design that was like trying to mix the two. Oh, it was all a dream. All right. Oh my gosh. She's dead. Ah, oh, the compressed sound. Yeah, they didn't really re-record the uh, the audio, so it sounds like the good old like PS One compression. Two-player support mode. Ooh. Second player can press uh, B to add a boost of wind power. Ah, it's kind of. Oh, I think. Wow, look at that effect. Oh, I saw. Do I. Ah, he doesn't have, like, cool buttons, like in the second game. Ah, oh, this already looks so pretty. Can I turn up, like, the audio voices all the way? Okay. Oh, look at the little pixel art characters at the bottom. Aww. Aw, oh, the moos. So, these guys are called moos. And look at them, they're adorable. I much prefer their look here than, uh... I'm gonna be comparing this to the Wii remake a lot. The Wii re remake made them, like, shiny? And it was really weird. So yeah, Klonoa is a unique platformer in that you don't jump on enemies or attack them. You pick them up! And you can use them to throw at each other. Can I turn off tutorials? I would like to turn them off. Maybe it's just part of this game. But yeah, you can also throw them at things and get them. Oh, and they all do different things too. Like this one is a helicopter. It lifts you up. So it's kind of like using your enemy to your advantage. Tutorial option was there. Ah, oh, there we go. Thanks, chat. Sorry. Ooh, almost got you. Oh, so this one we're saving, like, people. And also, you use your enemies to jump higher. Um, having fun. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Come on. Go. Oh, 
Oh, look at him go. Ooh. You're weird. <laughs> look at them. Also, they can just run into each other. I'm gonna make a Moo emote. We gotta make one. They're too adorable. Who goes there? Here, up here. How dare you go through my tower without paying your proper respects? Hold it right there. Moo mm. plushies? I know, because that is copyright. Hey, kid, you shouldn't be sneaking around in here. <laughs> He's just making the dog sounds. You boomer. <laughs> so passionate. Build a tower to the Moonlight Kingdom. You can also chain jumps together, which is pretty cool. So grab this guy. Ah. Like that. Hey, what's down there? Dippa dippa. Oh, this is a gem multiplier, these fairies. So this is essentially this game's equivalent of uh, Mario coins. Oh, but which, which way is the way to progress? Oh, the, the squish just... <laughs> oh. Hmm. So, what's over here? No. I don't want to progress yet. I want to explore. I want to, I want to explore. Ah, these things. These are your typical, like, Gordo enemies from Kirby. Huh. This is optional, maybe. Ah. Yeah! We got another piece of the person. Glad I went this way. Can I get this on Steam? I'm actually playing this on PC right now. Yes, it's it's on every modern console. For every modern gaming system. Which is another like this is surreal. Klonoa is on PC. Imagine that. Oh, that was it. Hey. I think I got them all. Yeah.
Yeah, I rescued all of them. So how do I... Does it actually represent something? I guess not. Because in the, in the second game, when you rescue all the uh, thingies and you complete the puzzle, you actually get a cute little doll to go with it. <laughs> I can hear Shen rolling and crying, screaming, No Bloodborne PC! Yeah. All the Bloodborne fans are just... crying and shitting right now. Sorry, I shouldn't use that sort of language with this game. <laughs> this game's too wholesome to, to swear with. Alright. Where's this go? Nowhere? Oh, look at the move! Whee! <laughs> Crying and pee peeing. There we go. Hmm, what's down here? Nothing. Hello! Burp, 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 burp. Ooh, hello. I need a move. You! Hey. and going potty. Ah, yeah, this. So in the original game, because you were a sprite, this was like a crazy thing. They were like, whoa, they're actually using their 3D and stuff. This was mind blowing back in the day because you actually went into the background. It's funny how basic it is now. But like, that blew people's minds back in the day. A 2D game that uses its background? Revolutionized gaming. What's up here? Secret? Yeah, secret. Ah, oh, then what's that way? Can I knock you down? Ah! Oh. Second game, you can knock him over off the platform. I'm crying and wahooing right now. <laughs> I love that you hold them like a balloon, like you're going to the to the park or something. This way. <gasps> big Moo! I like the big moves because you can't pick them up normally, so when you hit them, they just walk. <laughs> there we go. Alright, well. Block, 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 block. Okay. It's a good way to go. That 
that's a Wahoo moment. Ooh. Oh, look at all those moves. Oh geez, you're dangerous things. <laughs> They're adorable. Hmm. Oh, there they go. down. Get out of here. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I'm on one heart. I'm very uh, scared. Yeah. This game used lives. Remember lives? <laughs> Look at his big eyes! It's like, oh my god! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have had that extra brownie. I ate the whole thing. Oh. Man, heart's right here. <laughs> Wahoo! It's part of his vocabulary. Ah, this guy. Now, even though I didn't play this game as a kid, I know that if I did, I would have nightmares about this guy. Just like his design and his voice. Her stuff. God, that bassy compressed voice. <laughs> Get you a bad guy who will kidnap someone by doing the vampire cloak move. Foosh. That's how you know he's extra evil. Stock sound. 
So here's a unique thing that this game does that really takes advantage of its 2.5D is uh, boss fights are often um, in a circular arena that take advantage of it. Like there's a bell in the center, I could be like, yeah, and hit the bell. I don't know what it does, but uh, bounce off the front. Okay, okay. Yo, come at me. Hey. Okay. You got the leaps. <laughs> Hit that bell and subscribe! Ah, oh, that was my chance. Very simple boss, I'm sure. Just like, he jumps over you. Hit him in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Very just getting to know the game kind of boss. <gasps> Rainbows. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> this game's got a lot of stock sound effects. Yeah! Oh, nice slow mo. Man, this theme is jamming. Listen to this. Oh, she hit it in the bell. Maybe. Grandpa. We have a grandpa. Ooh, girl. Wani wani, wani you. Wani wani. Wani au mani. Oh, they speak the same language. The Moon Kingdom. Yamakaru wani you. We have to go to the Moon Kingdom. Wahoo emote is needed, yeah. What would it be, I wonder? Oh, I didn't get them all! Did I? No, I did. Okay, there are six. Yeah. I want a Moo emote, but I don't know what I would call it. I don't think the Moo would be Wahoo. Oh, I'm missing one gem over here! Wow, not a lot of pomp and circumstance to uh, starting the levels. You just kind of go. I mean, it's kind of like that in the second game, too. Oh, look at him! Aww. There's a lot of enemies in this game that weren't in the second game. We be charging. Monkey! <laughs> Look at the monkey moo! Monkey! Look at the swing! Oh, that's great! I wonder why they didn't bring back monkey moo.
cool. Where am I going? I like this autumn tree. Ooh, my controller's shaking on this. did the like two different song things starting in this game too like the indoor outdoor versions of songs and Klonoa music's great really cool too i i wish they did this in the second game you could just like go between axes just by going to different parts of the level that's pretty neat i need a key sound like Ewoks. For a thing. No, come back. Stop spinning. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Okay, hearts. Ooh. And yeah. Hey. I'm saving all the little village boys. so damn cute. This game is adorable. Ooh. Secret. Ooh. No. All right, one more. <laughs> Nobody's smart but me. Nothing bad ever happens to the Joe Cat. massive in Japan but sort of faded in the States yeah the States had a bunch of their own mascots that were competing for the spotlight because uh, Klonoa had a surprising amount of games 
and spin-offs in Japan, especially. Like, he had some that came to the West, but most of them were in Japan. Hello. Who are you? You're like a knight. Like a tadpole knight. <laughs> Jug pot. I like that he's got a tadpole like tail and crab claws. From the water kingdom. Okay. So there's a water kingdom, there's a tree kingdom, there's a wind kingdom, and what looked like a rock kingdom. Oh yeah, these things, they, <laughs> they push you back. They don't do any damage, but they're really funny. Ooh. Oh, spider! Oh, spider! <laughs> Sp Spike-der! Played the waterfall in reverse. Spike. Yep. Yep. Oh, we're saving the little tadpole crab boys. Oh, I missed one. Hold on. Let me go back. Is it over here? Yeah. yeah. There we go. People, people. game's got so many nooks and crannies and nooks. Oh! I thought there was a secret down there. Why would they put an enemy there? There's no secret. You know? Secret is pain. Hmm. You're coming with me. Squish. No. Hmm. How you guys doing? Hey! 
Interesting that this game uses the uh, angles of the ceilings to uh, squish down the boys. It doesn't do that in the second game. Because, like, it mostly just has this, like, things that stop you and you just can't go any further. But, like, that's interesting. That's an interesting way to do puzzles, I think. With involving these little squishy boys. You have to go at the angle that allows it to squish so that you can move in. Pixel filter? I have not. Whoa! That's pretty neat. It's like you're playing on like an old... Like an old version of the game. That actually looks kind of neat. Like a lot of filters, when it comes to these remakes, don't look good. That PS1 crunch, yeah. Yeah, it really does look like a PS1 game. Like, it really does! Like, a really pretty PS1. No PS1 game would look this good. I kind of dig it. I'm almost considering just playing it like this. Oh, I missed that one! Yeah. Oh. Boy. I would get you. Ah, there we go. Just flap. Ooh. Hold on. Now I want to do like a comparison. Oops. Oh, I wish there was like an insta button. Like Halo CE anniversary that I could just like swap between the two. This is a- I think it helps that this is a good pixel filter. Like, they- you can tell they put in some work to make sure, like, the things were rendered like it would be an old game. Still too much anti-aliasing for a PS1? Yeah. Like, these- these walls would be crunchy. Like, this pillar right here, we would not see the smoothness that we see on that, like, that diagonal. You see, like, right next to Klonoa's hat, like, over here. We would not see that. It would be so crunchy and pixely. Probably didn't need that. Here we go. Oh, wait, wait. I didn't go that way. Let's go this way. I keep forgetting that you can just like swap planes in this game. This, way. this game also has a lot more optional areas than the second one. Wait, is this the way to go? No, I don't want to go this way. If this is the way to go, I don't want to go. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's just optional bonus stuff. Whee! Ooh. Gamer. I'm not going to get that quite yet. Just in case. Yeah, I... Oh! Secrets. I think this is the optional area. So here's what you can do with these guys once he turns around. Think you're gonna finish the first game in one sitting? I don't know. I don't know how long the first game is. There we go. You can use them to like super jump. I know I can finish the second game in one sitting.
Here we go. Oh, crap. Eh, no, no, I wanna... Uh, I wanna show my skills. No! Oh. Was not able to show my skills. <laughs> I wonder if they swapped out the models to be like a specific model for this filter as well. Oh, small fish! I think I want to keep it off just so I can appreciate the new graphics, but I do like it. Ah, oh, but it looks so good though. Like, look at those clouds! I'm gonna appreciate the new graphics and their HD glory. Maybe in another playthrough. Yeah, it does look like sprite work. A bunch of weirdos. I also like how sincere this game is, too. <gasps> Mounted combat? Corral. Or Carol. Ooh, jazzy. mom she's all evil <laughs> evil seedoff and evil pamela oh i can grab him <laughs> you can grab the boss grab him then come here I'm gonna get you ha -ya! <laughs> yeah you know they're evil because evil is in their name I like how just sincere and unironic this game is as well it's just e helping people fighting evil bad guys <laughs> Oops. Ah. Uh, I don't know if you can get him or if I just missed. Go. Yes. <laughs> Rip seed off. <laughs> I just throw him off the stage. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, the creature design in the Clone Wars games are all, are really cool and cute. Yeah! Take that, king and queen, I think. We'll beat the evil out of them.
<laughs> Gutless behavior. Oh, oh my gosh! Clono, you just killed him! Clono, the Chad, goes up and shoots a guy point blank. I'm gonna be right back. It's hot in here. I'm gonna go turn on the AC. Chat rules the stream. Okay, I hope you're benevolent. What's your first order of business? As new rulers of the stream. <laughs> Giant moo. Jello cup, can I get can I have grape for mine? Or lime? Oh look at all look! The place is all green now. Rebirth of the forest. I wonder if it's gonna be green in the other level. Hold on, let me see. Can I not, uh... Oh, I can't go back to the other level. Okay. It's just here now. It's just, this is the new level now. Look at everything growing. Axes. Oh, I couldn't see. There was a thing in the way. Oh, how's this place look in the uh, pixel filter? Ooh, they like darkened. They must have like went in and like hand tuned the um, the colors for the filter. Because this is some really good contrast. They didn't just like turn on the filter and leave it at that. They must have like gone in and hand adjusted things to look good, which I really appreciate that. Look, look, look it's like so much darker than 
the wood in the non-pixel version. Hello. Hmm, there's moos over there. There they are. Armored moo. Hmm. Sorry, I just like looking at both the filters and non-filters. Oh, hello. It's you. That's two one. Oh, okay. Oh, gondola. This place is called Gondola because it has a lot of gondolas. place isn't called gondola he just has a different speak speaking pattern hello bouncy shield boy there we go yeah <laughs> me gongaga Oh no, armored moose. let you live for now here we go I said for now ha, -ha. yeah you can see the key on his back I don't know if that's gonna be the case in the second game inch high walls Ooh, a bee there's a bee oh oh did i ever play the clono gba game i did not but i do know that that's where the um the what's it called uh, Moonlight Museum, that, that theme is in Klonoa 2, and it originated from that game. Boing. Hmm. and things. <laughs> I 
bouncy boys. Hey. Nice. <laughs> Floppy ears. Show me that pretty face. There it is. Those boys become like little walkie boys in the second game. your butt. Oh, I can't shoot your butt. Your butt was misleading. Oh, okay. Can I hit? Nope. Yeah. There we go. Ah. grab them, but I can't. So I will grab a key. Grab you. The beginning of the melody kind of sounds like the beginning of the Endwalker theme. I give you listen to it. Bum, 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 bum. That part. Or is it just me? Da 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 Oh, you're a jumpy moo. Jumpy armored moo. Yeah. Is there anything over here? Nope. Invisible wall. Take me away. Take me away. Let's we escape. Hmm. Was the door somewhere else? Ah, no. Ah, no. Yeah, it was this. There we go. Now this this is one of those that like really took advantage of the 3D space and 2D because you can go back and forth now. Okay. Oh, I missed that one. It's hard to perceive depth. Depth. Clono's wild ride. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Easy. your bounce. Must bounce. Come on. Come on. There we go. Whoa! 
<laughs> That's my sleep paralysis demon. Hmm. Is this the way to go? I hope not. Oh gosh, I'm going to go fight my demons. Hello. Yeet. I don't know what I did, but you did something. Oh, that's some gems I'll never get. Oh! <laughs> this is a demo? No, this is the full game. The full game is out. It came out uh, Friday. this game so pretty they did a good job of translate because like whenever i like if you blur your eyes it still kind of looks like the ps1's graphics they kept the the like feel the um the spirit that's the word i was looking for the spirit of the original graphics really well because the original game was real pretty and the wii remake really like dulled the tones made it kind of gross looking <laughs> That was the era of, like, you know, like, Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts and stuff. And, like, Smash Bros. Brawl when, like, they were trying to make things look gritty. And I'm sure there was a little bit of influence of that in the Wii remake. Like, e even here, like, it's slightly desaturated, but the brightest thing in the frame is Klonoa, and that's some good contrast. And keeps kind of the feel of the original, where Klonoa was a sprite that stuck out like a sore thumb. is a name. What's that uh, guard? How did he talk? The like tadpole crab guard? It was like people, people, pa, or something like that. People. All right, we're going in the tree. Oh, I only got three. No. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back. Oh, look, it's the Sun Kingdom. I wasn't there before, was it? Hmm. It's been there? I guess I never noticed. Woo! <laughs> Dead. Like the Miku song? Oh yeah, Popi Po. Oh, the bomb boys! Look at these boys. These, they're great because you can throw them and then they stick around. They have a time limit on them. You can you can throw them on the ground and they just stay there. They're a lot squishier in the second game. Like that. Look, see? They drop and then they explode. It's like a delayed moo. Oh. 
Ah, guess I can't go yet. Yes, this game is like liquid joy. This game is all kinds of adorable. If there is a sun kingdom, why is the moon kingdom a legend? Uh, I don't know. Because, uh... Hmm. Well, there's a... There's a... West Virginia. How come there's no East Virginia? Hmm? Oh, this is a different direction. Hmm. The heck he is over here. Jim. Get the gems, Bentley Bear. West Virginia seceded from the rest of Virginia because they didn't want to follow the rest of the state into the CSA. Hmm. I like this music. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know how this world works. I'm sure it's probably something like similar to the lost city of Atlanta. Way. Where is Keyhole? Can't be that far. It's a small level, right? Hmm. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe this way? I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing something. Hmm. So if I don't get on it, it doesn't go. Or did I just miss? Hold on, 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 hold on. No, it just doesn't go if I don't get on. Okay. Hmm. Him, 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 him. Curious, curious cat. have something to do. I'm sorry, it's taken me... shouldn't... probably shouldn't take me this long to figure out. Is there anything up here? No. What if I... go back? Can't go this way. Yeah, I don't know. There's a speed run option to show finish time. That's neat. If... I mean, there's not much else. Hmm. Become monkey. Oh? Huh? Wait, 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 wait.
Wait a minute. Hmm. If I just like... Oh, okay. That's a little weird. I don't know. Didn't seem there... It didn't seem like there was any indication for that. kind of goes. There we go. You explode. Is that the Kirby flight sound when he jumps? Uh, no. I don't know. It sounds similar. I don't know if it is. Oh. Gamer. That was not very Wahoo of me. He. Ha. Hoo. Oh no, I needed that moo. <gasps> Monkey moo. Monkey. Where's moo? I need moo. Moo, where are you? Monkey, monkey, moo. Where are you? say the uh the platforming in this game is a lot more precise than the second one like the platforms are real tiny at some points Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, you, 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 you. oh that's only the first one there we go yeah, I spent a lot of time at the beginning. B. There we go. Now we can go this way. Oh, no, that that one. Oh. Ah, it's fine. I don't need that gem. I've got plenty of lives. I'm not going for completionist either. Oh wait. Huh. Yeah. There we go, gamer. No. Thought there might be a secret there. Hmm. You. Come with me. There we are. How's the remake so far? Does it live up to the originals? I've never played Klonoa 1, but so far I'm very much liking it. it feels very faithful from what little I know. I only have a kind of outside perspective of Klonoa 1. Oh, you devious devil. Can we appreciate Joka's theme? As, like, a bot? Ooh, you're red. What do you do? Are you just faster? No, you're just the same thing. Okay. I just recognized it differently. Ooh! Like a... You guys, it's ukulele! <laughs> Look at him! Wow, <laughs> falling on hard times. Oh, 
I need to mm, I need to use the moose. I was like, this is a very primitive quote unquote puzzle, but you gotta not the moose, but the explodey boys. Cause they delay. And then they explode. And then that opens the door. Yeah. Teaching you. Okay, I gotta do a double jump here. I like that in the second game, depending on how many chains you do, Klonoa says something different. Ha, idiot! What an a-hole, stupid! I would never fall down. I would never accidentally chuck myself off of a platform and die. Yeah, and accidentally. It's always on purpose. Hmm, are these the ones that like... in order. Bum, bum. Yeah. I also like the stock doing -yo 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 sound. Am I gonna try the bonus level? Oh, is there a bonus level in this game? I know there was one in Clonoa 2 that was essentially a platforming challenge and I really liked it. So if there's one in this one, absolutely. Yeah, the enemies look adorable. They look super cute. I don't want to hurt them. But I gotta. Oh. Come on. No, this is not the way I was supposed to go. I wasn't paying attention to that cutscene. This is not the way. I'll figure it out. Don't worry, chat. I'll find my way. It's not a super complex game. Gems give you nothing if you get them all. Well, they give you the satisfaction of completion. Ooh, I see that one. You know, because this was back in the day when games didn't always have rewards for things. You just kind of, like, did them because it was, like, a checklist. I'm not saying that's good or bad. It's just a thing. Is he still there? No. He thinks I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right? Yeah. That's right. I did go the right way. Totally forgot about this place. Two and a half D. This is also a game that I feel is one of the few that use its two and a half D as an actual functioning thing rather than just aesthetics. Like, look at this. I can go onto other platforms in the two and a half Ds, in the in the two and a half dimensions, on the different planes. Like the Z axis matters, and it's not just an aesthetic thing. I think that's really cool. I 
I think they did so better in this game than the second game. I assume because it was their first time and they were really trying to figure out, like, all the ways they could do it. Ah, I was going in the door. Thank you very much. Dark Souls has told me that that's supposed to make me invincible. Oh no, it's Granny! You're really gonna get it now! The tickles! <laughs> Just holds out his fingers. You are my ammo. I need you. Okay, so this guy... They're like regular enemies like him in the, uh, in the second game, where you gotta hit him from above. Yeah. Where'd you go? Ooh. Shadows. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Eh. Wow, he jumped high. Come on, come on, come on. Right there, yeah. No, 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 no. There we go. Oh, I need to get to the other side. Come on, come over here. There we go. They really knew what they were doing back in the day, because I assume that shadow thing. Hold on. I want to see how it looks in the pixel filter, because it's kind of faint. Oh, it looks so bright. Look at this. I like this pixel filter. I like how bright it is. Come on. Yeah. That's the old PS1 color scheme for the boss? Interesting. Yeah, they definitely up the saturation and stuff. Come at me. Whoa. Really needed to use the jump there. Hey. I like that her name is just Granny.
Pipopi? Pipopi? Uh oh. Gotta get home fast. That is the Wind Kingdom, but all ruined. I thought that was like the Stone Kingdom. <laughs> the ruins of the Wind Kingdom. Ah, oh, what I really like, oh, these boys, there they are. What I really like about Klonoa music is they, they like to have really weird time signatures. Like this this one, I think is in, I'm listening to it and I'm like, I think this is five, four. One, two, three, four, five, 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 yeah. There's a song, there's a track in Klonoa two that's also in five, four. I really like their unconventional music unconventional soundtrack in this game. It's really neat. Right now, and, and it swaps time signatures mid-song, too. Right now, it's in 6-4. Yeah, it's... It's got a the melody of the first level in it as well. Yeah, see you can hear it now. How can you tell what time signature it is? Well, you just count when the measures repeat, right? Um Here, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. It's mostly when you listen to the percussion, like when it starts. Four, five, one, two, three, 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 four, five. It's a really unconventional time signature, I like it. It's just kind of a skill that you develop when you do music stuff. It just takes practice. Ooh, ah. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slide. Oh, no slide. Is there a way down there? No, there is not. Gun Boys! The Gun Boys! I remember the Gun Boys! They got little beanies! Can I not grab you? Oh, you've got a shell head. In the second game, you can just grab them. Right. They stick their head out, it seems. How do I get that one? 
Do I just fall? Yeah, okay. Oh, extra life. So you gotta wait for them to stick their head out. There we go. Ghosts! Oh no, I'm so scared, chat! They're sticking their tongue out at me! Oh, they're so rude! Look at them! Oh, they're coming for me! Actually, that is kind of eerie how they don't have any animations. Ugh. So spooky. I'm spooked, chat. So spooked. Sun, you flip, you flip, you flip you down. Can I? No, can I not grab? Okay, there we go. Ooh, spooky. Ah, they taught us with the platform in the previous thing, and now we can learn about it and put it in practice. Ever played Gregory's Horror Show? I have not. <laughs> Getting harder? A little bit. I will say, in terms of like precision and platforming, this game is all ramps up faster than the second game. I don't know if it's overall harder, if it's like the same difficulty. But there's definitely a lot more tighter jumps. Second game is more forgiving. With both the jumps and the um the ring. Like, I'm not the only one unsettled by these guys, right? <laughs> Swing. 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 I think the hardest platforming in Klonoa 2 is the um, Maze of Memories and some parts of, like the nighttime version of Sea of Tears. And Lalakusha. That was, that was another one. Ooh. Oh no! Oh man, I gotta do all that? Oh no, this is a checkpoint. Good. Mm, thank you. Thank you for the for the gifts. I haven't been reading off notifications because I've been just enjoying the game. Sorry about that. But uh, thank you guys for all the gifts and resubs and bits and donations. I very much appreciate it. Usually watch VODs. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it to this stream. I know that it's uh, not every time people can attend the stream, so it's much appreciated when they do. Noise. <laughs> Grandpa! Let's go save Grandpa! A lull in the wind. 
Slide. Ooh, ooh, oh, slide. Ooh, slide. Slide. Eh, eh, slide. Slide. Oh, so many moves. Get out of here. Oh, no. I need that. Oh. I need to... Hold on. I need to be fast. Get... No, oh, I can't. I need to bring something in there. Oh, no. Did I lose it? Okay, no. It was not... It wasn't something that mattered. It wasn't part of the puzzle, so it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, I can see this is, like, the precursor to the, um... The, like... Surfing levels. Is that a rock? Oh gosh, am I gonna crush the moose? I don't wanna crush the moose! Okay, no. Alright, I thought it was gonna roll over and, like, squish them. <laughs> That'd be very tragic. Of stock sound effects in this game. That's like the the stock robot computing sound from like the Jetsons. You hear it? The blank, 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 blank. I kind of like it. Kind of charming in its own way that they're using old stock sounds. Ooh, skeleton with a skeleton on the front, but with blood eyes. I buy Pokemon on Etsy, Hipster, eBay. Oh, well. What'd you miss? Uh, not much. We're going to save Grandpa because he's in danger. Because uh, he has the key to the Sun Kingdom, apparently. For some reason. I don't know why our Grandpa has such access to a land far off. But, uh... Also, Joka her, was eavesdropping and heard that, so uh, he's going to try and go give Grandpa the tickles. And also, these guys are the worst enemy in the game ever. Surprised how early they show up, considering they, uh, they're on the arc in the, uh, the next game. And you can't grab them unless they do their fire. with him, that's right. that these guys have the sound, the, like, robot calculating sound from, like, old cartoons. Ooh. Uh. Are they gonna grow back? Ribs grow back, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got all the things. Whoops. Come on, 
Come on, come on. There we go. I put the cartridge in the PlayStation, but... And I see that it had Pokemon. I only have six Pokemon in my party. I am against Lance, and he also has 666 Pokemon as well. Oh no, it's a pilot move! We're doomed! They fly now! Then this game takes a dark turn because they just straight up kill grandpa. They fucking shoot a laser at him and blows up him and his house. It's like, oh yeah, fun game, woo, I'm, that's so colorful and bright, look at the moods, haha, -ha, we're going on an adventure, oh no, bad guy, gotta save the world, gotta stop him from doing bad things, boom, kills a person. song best song is coming there's the moon pendant a fun game for kids the next boss. I think this is my favorite track in this game. Granted, I, I'm not as familiar, but, oh, this track. Palladium. one heart. Can I do it on one? Maybe. Ooh. What are you? There we go. Whoa! Hooey, hooey, hooey. Yo, boy! Oh, what? How did I... Ooh, how did I miss that? Yo, yo, yo. Aww. There we go. Oh, I gotta hit his gems. Okay, okay. What is this? Can I hit that? Nope. Okay, I gotta hit the gems. Hit the gems, Bentley Bear. There we go. Go. This is like final boss material music. It's a shame it's so quick. Oh, Grandpa. Why? 
you girl shoe. You know, for kids. The flying fish mom. Oh, a dark version of the first level theme. Yeah, like that, that's some balls to have like this kid's game and then have a death happen like on screen, not not censored or, or like, I mean, it's a little dramatic, but like he, you see him breathe his last breath and drop dead, like literally drop dead, drop his hand and stop moving. It's so graphic. <laughs> It's like a machine place. And I'm realizing how fast paced this story is going. Like, I, I think they definitely improved on the, um, making the story feel more cinematic in the second game by giving things like more time to build. Cause uh, I'm surprised how quickly we reached the grandpa dies moment. <laughs> The game is definitely shorter. This, uh, keep in mind, this was during the PS1 era. Games were pretty short back then. Even long games were like short, like the original Zelda. You probably beat it in like five, six hours. of weirdos. I love the character designs in this game. This was a PS1 game. Not this specifically. It looked different. This is a remake, remaster, re-release, whatever. 
It didn't look like this. Hmm. The story's pretty intact, though. Like, all the things still happened, and mechanically it's pretty similar. It's just the graphics that got updated. Or treat the four orbs. Yeah, I'm tough enough. I <laughs> think you're tough enough. Well, we should get the four orbs, shouldn't we? All right, here's here. I'm gonna show you footage of the first game, like originally. Uh, Clun, Anoa, door to, to Phantom Isle. Wow, they beat in like two hours. Yeah, here's um, here's what the original game looked like. That old four by three. So here's the first level. You see, Klonoa is a sprite. The world is in 3D, but Klonoa is a 2D sprite. Yeah. It's still pretty impressive, I'd say. It's a very pretty game, still. See. Yeah, and the the pre-rendered cinematic. But uh the Wii remake, hold on, Klonoa Wii remake. I really don't like the uh the grab look how washed out everything is. Look how desaturated everything is. Look at this. It's got like this weird plasticky texture to everything. It's so gray, and oh, I don't like Klonoa's deep man voice. Right? Why is Klonoa's voice like that? Granted, that's his English voice. Uh, all right, we're gonna stop looking at that. But yeah, that, uh, that yeah, I, I much prefer this one. This This version is a lot nicer. Looks like Smash Brawl desaturation. It does. Very much so. Hmm, okay. Yellow and blue orb this way, green and yellow. No, red and blue orb this way, green and yellow orb this way. Unless it was green and yellow first. Hmm. It's nice to see, like, what look like precursors to other levels that happened in the second game, because this feels like a, a precursor to the factory level, you know, in Klonoa 2, in Volk. It's very interesting to see that they, they are always, like, had that idea. Oh, you're a flail guy! Who are you flail guy? Hitting from another, from another platform. Yeah, stop. <laughs> Flail move. Ow. Uh, need a thing, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, it just came out yesterday. On all modern game systems, including PC. Which you usually wouldn't expect something like this to come on PC. But I'm glad it is. You're, oh, you're angry. Hey! Hey! Hitting both sides. Uh, oh. 
Oh, what? Yeah, the hitboxes in this game are not as precise as this, the second one. I think that's part, partly why it feels harder. It's because I don't know that it's fairly harder. It's just kind of like jankier. <clears throat> so there are a few times where I feel as though I shouldn't have hit the thing that I hit. Oh, I got a little ball! I'll uh, get a little orb! Yellow orb, got! Is the remake both games? Yes. And yeah, the, I even if this game doesn't get like mainstream popular, like this re-release has m given more eyes to it than it ever got, which I'm happy for. Like it trended, Klonoa trended on Twitter. Imagine that. Like how many other obscure remakes of games, of, of cult classic games that didn't have a following trend on Twitter? Yeah, 40 US dollars, which I think is reasonable. Klonoa sweet, but unironically, yeah. <laughs> I love those, that meme of like showing Klonoa the best selling video game above Pokemon, like most uh, best selling IP. 100 on Metacritic. Klonoa for Smash. That was one, that was one of my like, like, when pigs fly hopes, right? I I did not have a hope that he ever would be because there's no possibility where he does. Um, but I was like, if he somehow does, somehow, then uh, I would eat my socks. I would deep fry and eat my socks if he did. Okay, well. Paper Mario. I feel like Paper Mario had a chance. You know? Had a decent chance. It's not like they wouldn't. It's like. It's not like there isn't precedent for putting the same character in different incarnations. I mean, they got three different versions of Link. And two versions of Mario already, so. It's not like uh, another Mario's out of the possibility. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So we can't go that way yet. So maybe we go get the... We got the yellow orb. We can't get the green... Or <laughs> Oh, I have to hit that target. Oh. That's it. I didn't see that at first. I gotta hit the target. Hey, hey, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So what does that do? What does that get us? What about this one? Ah, there we go. Now we can jump over there. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. Yeah, red orb. Oh, well, there goes that platform. Gotta make it out the alternate way. Mm -hmm. Gotta be fast, 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 ah, fast, ow. Yeah, all right. You also have fewer iframes um, from getting hurt in this game as well, it seems. Hello. Moves, armored moves. Golden armored move. <laughs> Please. Too fast, three dangerous. There we go. Gamer. Wahoo moment. All right, let's try for the blue orb.
Which way to the blue orb? Blue orb that way. Oh, wait, there, you see it? That one. Just like the second one, this game also has a great soundtrack. Oh, hello, Flail Man. Checkpoints. Yeah, the clocks are checkpoints. Yeah, I saw you. I saw you. There was a shadow. See, there was out. Yeah. Come on. Manya. There was a shadow where this egg was. All right. Great. Clone on two remake was much better. I'm. It, it might be. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to consider my thoughts. Because I haven't played uh, the first game so far. It's nice. I still think the second one is paced better, both story wise and level wise. But this one's got its own charm. Also, keep in mind that uh, this was PS One, so they were very limited in what they could do. It's not to say that it isn't, but um. My prediction is that Clono 2 is the overall better game, but uh, we'll have to see. Really, they are both great, though. There we go. We're saving the little boys. Come on, you gonna take me? Yeah, there we go. Don't like the cutscenes in this remake. That's fair. Oh, come on, no! That is a mean place to put a put an enemy. Oh, come on. I should hit him from the other angle. Probably already always prefer the original. Yeah. Lots of people do prefer originals stuff and that's you know it's understandable sometimes there's a certain charm and like something about the first time yeah this was what I was supposed to do I'm dumb I was supposed to hit him from here think think Joe two and a half D with a purpose yeah and there's there's a certain thing you know like your first love is always your favorite your first time uh doing a thing has a certain charm to it or can I jump up there no got the orb oops come on move there we go Orb. And lastly, the green orb. Maybe it wasn't locked behind stuff. I just couldn't figure out how to go through with all this stuff. Green orb. Here we go. Green orb. Um, green and yellow orb is this way. So, the door to the green orb. I have to figure out a way to hit the... Oh, I hit it from here! I see. I see now. I see what you do in your game. Your video game. Your clever game, you. There we go. To the green. 
Oh, 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 you're mean. Oh, so mean. What a mean enemy. He just kind of flails it back and forth in the same spot, waiting for you to get hit by it. Get out of here. Oh, come on. Wambo Cambo. All right. Let's see. Hit you. Whee. No worries, just a lava. No big deal. Just a pool of lava. Eek. Get over there. I want to get that extra life. Probably on the way back. Almost. Okay. Hmm. There we go. Hooey. Oh no, it's an army of armored moose! It's a platoon. This is my favorite thing. It's so satisfying. It's just like, yeah, oh shit, oh shit, oh no! All right. <laughs> What's this? Ow, ow, ow! <laughs> so satisfying. All right. There we go. There we go, we did it. <laughs> nice. Oh. Solaire. Soleil. Solar, I guess. The high Priest. These guys are cool. Praise the Sunbeam. Oh, is it the Moon Kingdom? Mr. Evil himself. <laughs> We're wimps. <laughs> it's totally gonna hurt, right? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> He had a bad dream and decided, all right, time to destroy the world. I don't know. It just says that he was slumbering. Must have been some dream, maybe. I've definitely had a few dreams that made me go like, bah, I need to take out my frustration somewhere. Also, high above Corona. Oh, thank goodness. I like your hat.
the Moon Kingdom. That's probably their nose, but I like to think that that's a beak and they're they're like penguins. <laughs> All right, here we go. I wonder if it's a Japanese trope to, um, to make the sun a mechanical thing, because what the heck are you? What? What? Oh, is this the nightmare that he, that Gadius is bringing? Oh, it's like flipping between nightmare world and normal world. Oh, that's cool. Oh, they're like little jokas. Little invincible jokas. Mean moves, yeah. I wonder what happens if I carry them while it goes to nightmare. It just dies, wow. I was gonna say, I wonder if it's a true. Oh, look at the flying one! Oh, it's actually kind of cute. It's adorable. It phases through walls, though. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that it hunts me down. Oh, it's like that ghost thing from Starfield. When you when you like go on the moon. Oh, I like these though. I don't like the one that like hunts me down. It's like a boo, except it doesn't stop. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, I wonder if it's a Japanese trope to have the sun be like a big mechanical thing, because that's the case in Kirby as well. Remember in like Superstar, the sun is like a big machine. Big mechanical machine thing. So what is this way? Nova, yeah. Oh no! Probably Japanese mythology behind that, probably. Oh, great, a heart. Oh. Oh. Uh, don't, please, don't, 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 okay, whew. I need you. Oh, okay. Okay. Whew. All right. There we go. Whew. Okay. Okay. I was hoping that that would go away by the time I got there. Good night, Norwegian Wolf. Thanks for tuning in. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go back. 
because I missed a thing. Because I thought this was going to be an optional, optional direction. Oh, you are really going fast. There you go. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go here. This way. Oh, there we go. That was easy. <laughs> from that one. Respawning egg containers. You just catch on fire. <laughs> it cooks you. Just turn into a puff of fur and smoke. Hello. Oh, uh, there we go. Thank you, Moo. Moo, just in time. I'm gonna wait until it's night time. There we go. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me! Oh! Now this looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, he just evaporated. <laughs> no! Clutch! Wahoo moment. Oh gosh. There we go. Hello. I need a thing to hit you. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah! We're hanging out! Yeah! We're having lots of fun! A bouncy bouncy bounce. Alright, just gotta wait for it to be daytime again. And wait for those guys to come along. The jets. Come on, jets. Yeah, yeah. Can I... No, all right. Hmm. Do we need to bring a thing here? Yo. Hiya. Okay. Maybe I need to grab them from behind? From the side? No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe I need to bring a thing all the way over here. No, I can't go back. Hmm. I can't grab him. What if I just, yeah, I'll just jump over it. There we go. <laughs> Easy. the way to progress. With respect, guys, the puzzle's not much of a puzzle if chat's giving me the solution. I would like to figure out the solutions myself. If I can't figure it out, that is not an invitation for you guys to tell me how to do it. All right. The no backseat tag and command uh, nightbot like timer is going off. So I would hope that you guys respect it. Boing. Ah, shit. There we go. Okay, what is 
against this fight. Slice. Bring you. Oh, maybe I can't bring you. No, I can't. Okay, there we go. Have you tried putting the corner pieces on the puzzle first? I know where the corner pieces go. It goes in the square hole. Oh, you can grab them. It's just, this game is very precise, it seems. Yeah, I would say this game is harder than Clono 2, but not in like a good way. It's harder because it's jankier. Like, it feels like that should have grabbed them. There we go. Ah, uh, it's just a heart. Okay. Where's the hexagon? It doesn't go in the butthole. Yeah, that's on brand for PS1 games, yeah. Very much so. There we go. And then we go in the square hole. Eh. Oh, I need another one. Don't, 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 don't. That is slightly unsettling. Man, so I gotta be fast then. I gotta like come here while it's still daytime. Okay, so nighttime comes. I'm gonna wait until it's daytime to proc the guys. Please, stop. Stop floating so, like, ominously gently towards me. Okay. So then, these guys come. Oh, alright. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Ah, come on. Ah, oh, come on! Alright. Oh. <laughs> Look at it come from off screen. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, no, don't get me. Oh, I'm floating towards you ominously and slowly. There we go. Okay. Come back, please. It's gonna it's gonna be nighttime. Please come back faster. Faster, please. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, well. Boy, babe. Did I do this? There we go. Let's get the thingy. Down here. I'm just gonna use the move that I have here. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on. Come on. Can I just like... Oh. I'm gonna try and grab them head on. I know they have spikes, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I can grab the spikes. Okay, no pursuing baddie. Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. That's much easier. 
This is hard to tell the depth, you know. So what do I do? I've got to be able to, like, get up there without a thing, right? What if I grab a Moo from the other... Yeah, I'm going to grab a Moo from the other thing. I also want the purple thing as a plushie. There you are. Just made the mistake of checking out prices for the PS1 and GBA games. Yeah, they are way up there. Oh, I gotta do this again? How do they ex... Expert? How do they ex... Squeeze me? How do they expert me to do it, to line up? So you should, nope, you should, oh, there we go, okay, 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 go, 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 go. Come on, 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 come on. All right, there we go. First try. Oh, could I have just like hit that and like turn the platform back on? All right. Gamer! I missed one, oh well. I did it the gamer way. I did it the Wahoo way. I didn't know I could like toggle it. But I guess it was blue. I wasn't paying attention to that. Because so far every single one of these has been a, a single toggle. But you just turn it on once. Oh, they're fast boys. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're, they're armored boys as well. I want a pursuer plushie. What is this? Can I grab you? Okay, gotta go through the door. No, I came from the door. So what do I need you for? Unless I don't need you? Do I go back in? Oh, <gasps> Dan! Hi, Dan! Oh my god, is that Carby? <laughs> wow, that's cursed. Hi, I'm playing Klonoa, one of my favorite platform things ever. Sorry, notifications are off because I'm paying attention to the game. Hi, everybody! <laughs> I'm playing the Klonoa re remasters, remakes, re-release. And I'm having lots of fun. I've never played the first one. I played the second one extensively. But uh, yeah, we, we just passed like the two-thirds point or something like that. Our grandpa died very tragically and graphically. It was very traumatic. Uh, you know, for a kid, you know, things that you would see in a kid's game from the 90s. <laughs> And now we're gonna face the big bad, Gaddius. He's gonna bring the darkness on the world and plunge it into a nightmare or something. Bambi was for kids, that's true. Man, we gotta learn to stop imprisoning bad guys. It never turns out well. Like, imprisoning bad guys for thousands of years just kind of makes them harbor a grudge. We should just, like, get rid of them. <laughs> Rather than imprison them.
Oh. We're gonna fight Joker. Again. No, we're gonna fight him like proper this time. <laughs> Boston Joker be like, <laughs> I'm gonna become the Joker. Ooh, what are these crystals? Joker. I'm gonna spin my arms around like this. And if you run into it, then it's your own fault. Yeah. Oh, come on. Hard to angle. Yeah. There we go. Oh, he's got a lot of health. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. What you got? What you got now? You got a phase two? Oh, how courteous. Transform! Oh, oh, he's, uh, he turned into an SCP. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, what does this do? Oh, it just makes it yellow. Oh, I gotta turn it all back yellow. So I can go back to the original platform. That's cool. Oh, fuck that! That is mildly unsettling. That design. I gotta turn it back into daytime. It's going from blue to yellow. Oh, you are so angry. Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Whew. Okay, missed. Yeah. Okay, he just punched it away. Yeah. Hi ya. Come on. Yeah. Ah. There we go. Hi ya. Here I am. Ah, I missed. I meant to aim forward. Come on, Moo. It's okay, you can come out. Ah, you're mine! Shit. There we go. Okay, yep. Night phase. Where he turns into the horrifying water dinosaur creature. Oh, there's purple ones now. Wee. Oh, it's every other block. Okay. I was I was wondering how can I tell where he's gonna go? It's every other block that he smashes. So classic old school enemy bad guy attack design. I'm gonna swing my arms around medium speed. <laughs> Just a reasonable enough speed for you to avoid it. Very old school boss, I like it. Oh, what? Timing. There we go. Yeah, very respectful boss. Remember when bosses had class and manners? There we go. I got the Joker! <laughs> He's unmorbing. Uh, 
Bob. All right, Kefka, jeez. Gutless behavior. He ain't laughing though, yeah. The Three Kingdoms. I'm realizing now that they reuse this trope in Klonoa 2, connecting the kingdoms to unlock another one. The sun, wind, water, and forest kingdoms all coming together to create the moon kingdom. And they do something similar in the second game, just on a larger scale. Here it is. Oh. Birdfish. Disneyland two twice as evil. <laughs> The employees are extra, extra told to stay in character to the point they're they're forced to change their name. One second, I'm gonna take a snack. Snack break. Also, people comparing this to Bambi, like, yeah, Bambi's mom got shot, but you didn't see her get shot, and you didn't see like her lifeless body limp, like go limp as she breathed her last breath, you know. I'm eating jaziki, some uh, chocolate cookies, chocolate caramel, kind of like cafe cookies I got from uh, Arizona when I get, went to, um, when I went to Ikea, spelled J-E-Z-Y-K-I. I like cafe cookies. They've got little coffee beans in them. All right, let's go to the moon kingdom. Thanks, Mom. Thank you, Mom Fish. This place kind of looks like the, the final area of Klonoa 2 a little bit. And the music is similar too, a little bit. 
Klonoa 2 really is like Klonoa 1, like, final version. Does that mean all dreams are the same? I don't know. It means that they're similar, right? People have similar dreams to each other. It's like Klonoa won the sequel. <laughs> yeah. Wahoo moment. Oh, shit. Wait, is that just a fence or is that... I don't know. I'm not going to test it out. I felt like I was on the floor for a moment, but then I was okay. Okay. Got to do some precision platforming here. Okay, nope. Do I have to, like... Hit him, like... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I had to use, like, two of them. Sudden difficulty spike? Yeah, a little bit. This feels like the last zone. Not the last level, but the last zone. So I wouldn't be surprised if it got a little hard. So... I go through here? Yeah, I did go through there. So... Go through here? No. I'm confusion. Hold on. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Uh... Yeah, I came in from this side. I wish I could have experienced Klonoa 1 without spoilers and without having to play the second one first. Yeah, me too. I, I do know the story of this game. By the way, no spoilers for anybody who wishes to experience it, guys. Uh, just be respectful of others. These are little Gaddius statues. Look at him. There's his big nose. Hmm, so where do I go? It's not this way, is it? Shit. Ow. Ow. Okay, so yeah, it does hurt you. It just doesn't insta-kill you. I had iframes the last time. So if we go over here... ceiling there. Down there? Nope, that's a false door. I... Okay, then. It does look pretty, yeah. Hmm. So then... Maybe this way? Is it non-linear? Looks like it. So I can go in this now. There we go. Yeah, it's a puzzle. This kind of reminds me of the Maze of Memories in the second game a little bit. Both with the non-linear level design and- oh my gosh, oh my gosh! the non-linear design <laughs> and uh, also the like colored things that you gotta get okay so it's not quite the same theme as Lalakusha but it's there are segments of it that sound similar yeah. 
No. Stop. Three. There's a lot of stock sound effects in this game. Makes me appreciate the second one all the more with uh, all their original sound effects that they got. Okay. Okay. Okay, ladies, please. There's, there's only so much of me. <laughs> there we go. And the blue door is open. Ah! I meant to do that. I wanted to show my gamer skills. I wanted to prove that I could beat this with only four hearts. See? Everything I do is on purpose. So now the blue one down there is good. Yeah, damage boost. It, you see how it knocked me forward, like, a little bit? Speedrun strats. Roll deception? Hold on. Oh, look at that, a natural 20. Oh, crazy. <laughs> I have to roll deception on that, too. Oh, I like this, when you explode one of them, they go in a chain. Ooh. Wahoo moment. Roll bluff on the deception roll. <laughs> in the second game, you can, like, stop your flap mid-flap and then continue it later, which I think is why I'm, like, messing up. Wahoo moment. There we go. Okay. Just wait for him to go through. He's kind of like a pig. He's a, he's a pig with a fuse. That's very cute. His tail is a fuse. I never really paid attention to the design before. There we go. Please don't hurt me. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Chain reaction. Yeah. There we go. Green is complete. And push. Satisfying. Oh, I know what to do here. Here's a special trick. Drop this down here, and then pick it up. Nope. All right. So you come down here, you throw it against the wall, and then you grab it from the other side. Cool trick, huh? Gamer, because I'm a gamer. And gamer boy. Oh, yeah, all these guys. <laughs> Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away, ghosty goose. Ghosty gumbelows. There's so many of you. There's so many. They keep coming. Stop. There we go. Okay, and now the yellow one. Yellow door. How does this place look with the filter? Let me see. Oh, it's so pretty. I gotta play through this game again with a filter on. Look at this. Look at the crystals. I like that it's got like pixel, proper like 
pixel style cell shading. Yeah, they did a great job with that filter. They really put in the effort. No, this is the red. So where is the yellow? The yellow. Is it up here? Hmm. So I just destroyed the green? I think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's just a filter, but they did... I feel like they definitely put in some work to make the filter look good and not just like an on-off setting. Like they definitely fine-tuned and hand-adjusted them. Yeah, more than, than just running through a program automatically, for sure. Some, a lot of love went into this remake. Even if they didn't do all that much, they didn't need to do all that much, you know? Here we go. Now here's the difficulty spike I was looking for. The difficult platforming. Luckily you can hover long enough for them to come back. There we go. Hello. Don't mind me. No, I want to get the multiplier. Ow. Wow, good job, Go Joe. You got three gems. What a gamer you are. Well done. Okay, and now we can finally go back through the green door and then go past the little yellow things. What's a group of moos called? Mees? No, not the green door. Trying to... Alright, am I gonna have to go through this again? Ah, oh, jeez. Oops. My bad. That's my bad. I went through the wrong door. I think it was the blue door? That's where the, um... I should have known that it was the blue door, because the blue door is also where the yellow statue was, and it crumbled to indicate that that's where they were. I'm silly. I'm sloppy. I am sloppy. Sloppy! Sloppy today. Sloppy! <laughs> Luckily, I'm a master gamer at platforming, so I can get back super quickly. Hmm. Oh, 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 geez, oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, no, ah. Oh. This is pretty cool. Look, we're in space. Kirby 64 vibes. I think this game shares a lot of aesthetics with Kirby. Not quite mechanics, but definitely the Kirby aesthetic and like the vibe of like, 
Oh, underneath this um cutesy game, there's actually some messed up stuff going on. This looks very Kirby. All right, I think we're going to the final level now. 6-2, unless there's an extra, extra world that'll fit on the top left. <laughs> hmm. Prince Hupo? Hupo's royalty and from the moon kingdom plot twist Dun, dun, dun. Look at him, he looks like he rolls cat uh, catamaris. The Prince of the Moon Kingdom. Not even phase. He's like, oh, you're a prince of, and royalty, and this whole time? Ah, don't worry about it. Final level esque music. Now it's gonna test your skills. A test of your reflexes! They're hunting me now. They're taking revenge for all their friends that I've destroyed. Oh, jeez. Bah. Bah. Oh, okay. Gosh. That was more harrowing than any of the platforming in the second game. So that was like, so this is an example, like this is proper difficulty in my opinion, like difficulty by design rather than jank. Like that one felt fair. And I'm not saying that just because I was able to avoid damage, although that does help. But I like to think that I'm good at games. Oh, it's these guys, I like these guys, they toss the boomerang. I thought you were going to jump again. 
There we go. Shit gets serious when the synth kicks in, yeah. Yeah, you, th you thought this game was all nice, pleasant woodwinds and piano and all that stuff. No, we're bringing in the synths now. And the high octane percussion. Oh, it's the theme. Reprisal of the theme. You hear it being played on, uh, bagpipes? Hmm, here's the timed ones. Games need more bagpipes? Absolutely. I can see that this is them trying out their, uh, there's gonna be more puzzles like this in the second Klonoa game as well, like timed buttons that you gotta press them all before they go back to normal. Maybe that was the introduction for this one and they're gonna do more. Look at him, he's so, I like how bright he is and that he's not as affected by the lighting. I'm sure he's affected a little bit by lighting, but they keep him really bright which I think does great for clarity and also kind of keep the PS1 feel to the to the art. Because back in the PS1, he wouldn't be able to be as affected by lighting as much. Perks. Hmm, green or red? What's the green? Oh, did I just... Did I already come here? No, this is different. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I need to grab a move for this one. Hi. Come at me. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God, he comes back. Okay. Okay, got a quadruple jump. Double jump. Oh, jeez. Double jump, triple jump, quadruple jump. Easy. This is the way to progress. That means the red door was uh, the optional one. Yeah, I missed one rescue guy. Hmm, that's fine. Actually, I can go back and get him. I'm gonna go do that. Go save Hupo's people. Most of it's a fall anyway, right? Just drop down. Camera got me a little bit worried. Oh no, I can't go back. Ah, oh, I can't make that jump. Darn. Ooh, I'm looking around. Yeah, I really like the Klonoa games, like, because of the mechanics, they, they can make some very creative, like, choices as far as platforming challenges go that you don't see in other games. Like, what other games, like, allow you to do such a thing as, like, quadruple jump, you know? To use your, to try and grab your enemy to quadruple jump to reach a thing. 
pretty neat. Oh gosh, she's coming for me. <laughs> oh god! Die! Go. Oh god, I'm stuck. There we go. Hmm. What's this? Cute but dark games are always great. Yeah, Kirby. Like Kirby. Go. That should open that rock. Yeah, Mega Man X also is good at teaching stuff without tutorials. There's a weird part in the second game where the second game does a great job of teaching you stuff without tutorials, except for one part where it's like, hey, this is what this enemy does when you pick them up. When it's like, I could naturally come to that conclusion myself. It's the only enemy here, you know? It's just kind of a weird decision. Hmm. So, oh, my keys. All right. See how long it takes for these. Yeah. Okay. So that one maybe has to be the last one. Hmm. Get this one first. Someone in the beta test probably failed it, maybe. Hmm. It doesn't respawn fast enough. Hmm. Maybe I need to... Then... Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, I, th I don't actually need to use him to double jump to get up there. Cool, 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 cool. I was thinking, like, they, they put him here for, for a reason, right? Yeah, okay. And then that last one. Hmm. They all last the same amount of time. So, probably wanna that one, and then, ah, oh jeez. And then, grab that guy. No, because, hmm. Did not ask for it. I think I got it. So, what I need to do is I need to get up here. Okay. That. So I get up here, right? And then... Because I don't actually need them to ring. I just need them to ring the far away ones. Boom, there we go.
There we go. Wee sand! Man, he must have so much sand in his shorts right now. Okay. The chafing. So what is this red one? I wonder what the difference between, like, the red one... Oh, I just went through the red one. Maybe? Did I? I'm not sure. Unless... Oh, I'm unlocking doors. That's what's going on. I see now. I was like, the red one... There's a lot of red doors. They seem familiar. Oh, God, giant move! Oh, gosh! The keep Oh, he's chasing after me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, now what? Oh, there we go. All right. Well. All right. Let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> Impressed? Okay. Come on, Moose. Yeah. Penta jump. First try. There's that sound again. Come on. I also, one thing I realized about this game is it's more about defeating enemies in the second game. The second game, yeah, you've got to defeat enemies to get, you know, through and stuff, but like, a lot of them uh, respawn, whereas this one, it's, a lot of them don't, so they're just like a one-time obstacle. Interesting. I don't know if that was the way I was supposed to go. I saw a thing up top. Okay. Ow. <laughs> Look at his little hot. Hey, ho, hoo, ha, hoo, ha, hoo. I'm gonna toss this thing at you. Hoo, 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 hoo. Can't catch these hands, man. I'm too fast for you. Hoo, ha, hoo, ha, hoo, ha, 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 I got hoo. It's like Duke Kaboom. Haha! <laughs> yes! Oh yeah! Haha! <laughs> Duke Kaboom! I finally watched Toy Story 4. It's a good movie. Haha! <laughs> okay! Oh god! Toy Story 4 gets way too much flack. Um, yeah, I, I think so. It's, um, I think it's just because, like, they ended Toy Story 3 so perfectly that people question what warrants Toy Story 4 in the first place. Um, which I think is also valid. Luckily, they managed to make it worthwhile for existing. Oh, hello, phone. Like, they, they justify its existence by just being a good story that is disconnected with the Andy story. Which I think is, uh, good on the writers for that.
they kind of sell out Woody's character? What do you mean? I think it was a great uh, ending for Woody's character. Like, it's the, it is the, the uh, inevitable inevitable end of every toy, right? The, the, the end of the toy story. Like, it's not just about Woody. It's about, you know, like every toy eventually moves on to another kid, right? Or no kid, you know? I think that's a great end to Toy Story. And a great culmination to Woody as a character, like being obsessed with pleasing a kid and then ask the question, what happens if he doesn't have one? What happens if he's no longer needed? What does he do? And I like that. I like questions like that. Those what if questions. It's a realization of all the things that have been building up from the first Toy Story. And I don't think, I don't know what that means, selling out his character, but I think it was very uh, consistent with his character overall, and I think a great growth moment. But that's just me. Uh, didn't they make him kind of a jerk or was that Buzz? Woody was always kind of a jerk. Have you seen the first Toy Story movie? Woody's, Woody's always had like a little bit of pompousness to him. A little bit of arrogance. Cause like he's from a privileged position. He's always been the leader, always been someone's favorite toy. I think that's completely consistent with his character. Yeah, he's got an ego. I mean, he is a good guy at heart, but like, Woody is uh, arrogant. <laughs> Since the first movie. He does get humbled over time, yeah. Oh, what's this? From what I heard, I vaguely remember one character getting messed up for drama. I didn't notice, um, and I watched it recently, but I don't know. Maybe somebody could convince me. Mm. A dream that cannot be corrupted by nightmares. I have not played Klonoa 1 before, this is my first time. Though I know general stuff about it, including the ending. Motivation. Mm. Wow, I can't believe they made uh, Pitch Black from Rise of the Guardians like 10 years before it came out. This is it, Gaddius. This is like the final boss. Slide. Ooh. Can I grab these? Oh, I hit them to go into the. Are those? Those are tombstones. I'm on a wheel of tombstones. I right, just go into them. I don't have to shoot them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I gotta do something. I think I gotta grab, oh, those are moves, yes. Okay. So 
So are they gonna come down? Yeah, there we go. Okay, I gotta, get, I gotta grab the moose. And oh, they're little sleepy moose. Look at them. Their eyes are closed. Okay, so I gotta go in here. Oh no, I can't. Maybe he's gonna throw them at me here. No. Hmm. Okay, okay. I'm figuring it out. Oh! Ow. Okay, fight. Yeah! No. Can't hit his big old nose. No, it's not the way to do it. Okay, it's going backwards. Ah, the fact that I have one person that I didn't rescue bothers me. It's gonna annoy me. Okay. Yeah, I can't go in. Hmm. I'll figure it out. It's part of, part of the puzzle in the puzzle platformer. Uh, it's kind of like, well, I guess I don't actually need any of them. Yeah, that, that is one criticism that I think is valid about Toy Story 4 getting existential, but I think it's okay because this, the story is less about that and more about just like using that as a front to do some character exploration. And I think that's okay as well that they don't address the existentialism because they play it for a joke at the end when, when sp spoiler happens and then the toy is like, how am I alive? And then Sporky's like, I don't know. Which feels like the perfect ending to Toy Story as a whole. Like, that is the final line in the entire Toy Story saga. Hmm. All right, let's see if I throw, no? What if I just fall? <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm surprised. I don't know what I was expecting. Hmm. Hmm. Come on, Joe, figure it out. Give me the moves, the moo, and... Hmm. Wow, that's it? Okay, wow, I'm so dumb. I thought I had to hit his head or something. You just hit his body. I, I, cause it feels too easy, right? Just hit his body. Wow, I'm an idiot. All right, I did it, I figured it out. What a hard puzzle. Man, real b brain buster. Man, this thing gives Portal a run for its money. Okay. Oh man. Oh, this screensaver can't hit the corner of the screen because there are no corners. It's a circle. Damn. All right, he's got to have a phase two, right? There's no way that this is the end of him. What comes first, Portal 3 or Klonoa 3? Actually, you know what? Klonoa 3. Firmly believe. So what's the point in going in here if this is just like... Oh, jeez. Oh. I guess this is uh, supposed to be a punishment. I guess you're supposed to avoid those. It's like a time waster. It's like, oh no, I went in the portal, now I gotta come back. 
Yeah, because that's what I was thinking. I was thinking you had to use those portals for something. But no, apparently they're supposed to be punishment. A punishment mechanic. Ugh. Oh. They're bouncing around. Okay. Oh. Okay. Do I need to get in that? I don't know. Equilateral triangle! My only weakness! I do need to shoot them. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Nice, okay. So, I gotta shoot the thingies. Okay. So, it's gonna go over there. Oh! Well. Alright, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Okay. I'll get him this time, though. Yeah. I've got you all figured out now, Mr. Gaddius. Oh! Well, oops. And... Ow. Money up. There we go. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. I'm sad that this is probably a last, last dance for Klonoa, yeah. I, I'm not holding my breath for another entry. Honestly, even if it is trending on Twitter. Like, I mean, it might happen. There's a not zero chance it'll happen, but I'm not holding my breath. And I don't think it's a big deal if it doesn't. Like, it's not like... It's not like Klonoa has ended on a cliffhanger. Well, kind of, but kind of more of a, like, on to his next adventure kind of end of story thing. Which doesn't necessarily need closure to it, right? I think I might skip the next mechanic because I hit him enough times to get him this low that he might not do his next phase. Oh, nope, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's nice that they're widely available. Agreed. stood there. Mm. There we go. Nope. Come back. Come back. Jumping moves. Ah. Oh. There we go. Yeah! And killing blow! Yeah, there we go.
Hey, look, it's the people from the Wind Kingdom. Actually, all the kingdoms. It's all the people. It's guy. that ominous lava egg I forgot about that thing I was like, he's got to have an extra, like, form. Wow. He explodes. He's like, my plan is in motion. It doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> the balls on this guy. He doesn't care if he loses. He's taking us down with him. Power of friendship. I do love bad guys whose evil plan is to die. Yeah. We also have a fish that can fly. Dun, dun, dun. If you're nihilistic enough to destroy the world, then of course you wouldn't care about dying for it. Yeah. The world's gonna explode anyway. There is a secret world! I knew it! I knew it! Go back! I called it! I was like, there's a gonna... Well, I didn't, I didn't say for certain that there was gonna be, but, um... I did have a feeling that there might be. Final vision! This is probably a boss arena. It's circular. Plot in an old game, yeah. Granted, if I'm to be critical, <laughs> my honest opinion, it's a fairly, like, shallow plot, but it is more plot and, than most games of its time. And, like, with a lot of subversions of expectations that you would see nowadays as well. <laughs> they have actual cannons. <laughs> Inflated enemies should do nicely. 
<laughs> we'll defeat him with the power of friendship and these guns we found. That's literally this ending. Our ancestors left us this artillery. <laughs> Why don't we just shoot them? Yeah. All right. The dream at nightmare's end. What a f final definitive uh, name title. Nahatum. Oh, they are armored. Oh, jeez. Okay. How do, I, how do I strip the armor? Ah, there we go. He strips it for me. Okay. Bark dog man. Uh, take this. Shoot him. Okay, I gotta do five at once. Whoa, what that tongue do? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, it's the great mighty Pooh from Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> he has that exact same mouth. I am the great mighty Pooh, and I'm going to throw my shit at you. I did not play that game, but because I am a big nerd, I have approximate knowledge of all games. It is a requirement, especially when you're a YouTuber and everyone keeps recommending you every game under the sun. You kind of tend to know, like, most, like, a bit about most games when you become internet fame. Oh god, he's got me! Ah! Is he gonna eat me? Oh god! Ugh! Spit me out like a whale. Come on, Moo. Ooh. Okay. Uh, you! Forest Kingdom Lady. Have a thing. Oh no, I threw it in the wrong direction. I pressed. Oh, I meant to press up. Okay, it's okay. There's gonna be a starting moo. That is. There we go. That one. Oh, they're so fast. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm okay. I just need to be good with my controls. There we go. Ah, oh, how do I... I just gotta jump, I think. Shoot her! Shoot her! All right. Yeah! Wow, they one-shot him, see? Just use guns on, on the main enemy bad guy. I can't believe all it took to kill the big bad was sh to shoot him with guns. Oh, no, it's not over. Oh, this is very Kirby. An evil face in the void is a very Kirby boss. Yeah, okay. This is more like proper final boss. We get to kill him. Not some, some guys using guns. What is this? Am I gonna hit those rocks? I think so. Oh, it's very slidey. All right, can I do this in one hit? With one hit left. Oh, it's very slidey. Guys, it's Aku. The Lord of Evil and Darkness. Ah, oh, jeez. The shape-shifting master of darkness. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> the the momentum of the slideys pushed me into the into the thing. Ah, 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Stop it with the eye lasers. Okay, line it up. There we go, okay. What you got? You got nothing. I got a sleeping move. What do you got? We got a bunch of rocks. Oh, it's a moving rock now. Oh, jeez. Oh, didn't mean to jump. Okay, come back, Rock. Rock, please come back. I, I will return your calls. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Those things I said. Yeah. Oh, jeez. The momentum on the stage is very strange. Rock, please. We can hang out together. Yeah. What about the final, final, final boss? Yeah, there it is. I was waiting. Here's the final, 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 final boss. <laughs> that smarts. Hmm. More ammo. Okay. Ooh. King D D D. Oh, jeez, no. Okay. What? I I fell through the platform because it didn't have collision yet. <laughs> Just falling through. All right, you move. Move, come back. Move. Come here. Oh, rainbows from the first boss. There we go. That's one. I like that they've got a mix of combat bosses and puzzle bosses. This is definitely a puzzle boss. Ow. Okay. And I think that's neat. Or rather, not a combat boss, but a platform challenge boss. Which I guess you could say that all of this game's challenges are technically platforming, even the combat. But, uh, you know what I mean. I'm not directly attacking him! Rip that move. Okay, uh, you. Oh, he's shooting lava balls. Shoot her! Shoot her! Oh, it just bounces off of him. What's left? Oh, that guy. I didn't even see him. Oh, jeez. Where's a move? I need a move. There he is. Okay, 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 okay. Stop, stop, please, please. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. All right, all right, all right. I would have been very impressed with myself if I could have done that. Okay. Rainbows mean misfortune or something? Is that true? Over the years of streaming, I've learned that chat is always trustful. And chat always tells the truth. They're a reliable source of information. Suck. Don't do the suck. There go. Three. Just 
gotta keep. Oh, I pressed the jump. Could have sworn I pressed the jump button. Missed. Oh, I'm good at video games. Come on, you stinky horned leg not having spine dangly. Hey guys, doesn't he kind of look like Endwalker spoilers? <laughs> People who play uh, 14 Endwalker. You know, you know what I mean, right? It's, en it's spoilers. <laughs> Don't actually say the name because uh, there are 14 players who are not at Endwalker, but doesn't he kind of look like Spoiler? Even the, like, arena in space. The first Spoiler. Mega cartoon version, yeah. <laughs> Soon? Oh no! <gasps> Echo! My girlfriend! My girlfriend is here, everybody! It's my girlfriend! Echo, I'm playing uh, Klonoa 1 for the first time. I'd never played it. I played 2, but I never played 1. And it looks gorgeous. And look! It has a, it has a cool, like, pixel filter. That looks good, actually. Like, it looks like it's actually... They actually put some thought and work into it. Like, it somewhat looks like a PS1 game. A little bit. Not quite, because no PS1 game would look this good. But it's neat, right? Look, you can see, like, the... The cell shading on this stuff. And the low-res textures and stuff. Doesn't look neat. Oh, oh, he's still going. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, isn't this a cool filter? That was too early. All right, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna do another playthrough with just like playing the game like that because it is very cool. Okay, three. I can do this. I have plenty of health. I just need to not play like an idiot. Come on, Moon Mom. Okay, last one. Granny! 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 There's guys! He's trying to get he's trying to suck up all the candy, Granny! Granny! Okay, I need a move. Move, come back here, move. Okay, he's busy summoning a dude and no, no, I'm gonna make sure I, I can't muck it up. All right, Granny, go, 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 shoot him with a gun. Yeah! Cell so shading means black outlines on the 3D models? No. Black outlines means black outlines. Sh cell shading means cell shading. Shading the shadows. Aww. gun I found! Hoppa! Some cell shading game, for example, is 13. Yeah, and Wind Waker. Wind Waker is also cell shading. But there's no black outlines in that one.
Hey, it's her, the lady who crashed at the beginning. She was having a nightmare. Oh. Aww. Yeah, I was wondering, it's like, this random monster we're fighting. No, it's, she was having a nightmare. Look at his crab hands! Hupo's alive. <laughs> He's fine. Just let's go. <laughs> How's the neck belt suspended? Uh, his shoulders. Don't mind it clipping through right now. But it's supposed to be resting on his shoulders. Oh, <laughs> 
And that was Chloa, uh, Klonoa, the door to Phantom Isle. That twist. That twist is what I think cements this game as something great. Because, like, what a dark, questionable thing for our friend, our supposed friend to do. Yeah, he gaslit Klonoa into having memories to save his world. It's like, wow, that would be like a crazy twist by today's standards. And it kind of goes it, in a meta way. It makes sense why like grandpa dies so early on. It's like, I was thinking, oh, I'm not that invested in grandpa. And we didn't really get all that time, much time with him cause he's fake. He's not real. All of this was to kind of manipulate Klonoa into feeling like he was part of this world. So he would be like compelled to save it. The worst part, Klonoa probably would have saved the world regardless considering the second game. Yeah, that's why I'm about to go way in into way too deep and overanalyze the blue curtains when the curtains were probably just fucking blue. But like, I like that it almost implies that Hupo was so desperate to save his world that he was willing to do such a questionable thing just in case, just to be sure, just to be certain that he had a contingency to save his world. And that in that final moment, he do, does genuinely care for Klonoa even after that, even though Klonoa is more or less a tool uh, to be used, he I feel like there's a little bit of regret in there that like, oh, I'm sad that I had to do this. Heartbreakingly calculating, yeah. He realizes Klonoa could have been a real friend, yeah. Yeah, there's a section towards the end of the second game that hits harder because of this ending. And it's such a great, like, part of Klonoa's very minimal growth as a character, but a very potent one. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I think the PS1 cutscene was a lot better, a lot more... Uh, for your phantom isle, ah. So yeah, Klonoa is revealed to be a dream traveler. That he's like a powerful being that protects various dream worlds. Kind of like Kirby, I guess, in that sense. But yeah, here, I'm gonna show you the, uh... Hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna turn this off real quick. But yeah, I think the um, the PS1 cutscene was a lot more well composed because there's like dark clouds and stuff. Let's see, Klonoa and Tomile ending. Here we go. Uh, no, not the Wii version. Gross. Uh, la 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 la. There we go. Look at this. Also, the audio is a lot better. Let me turn it down, actually. Yeah, there's a big hole in the sky. I was waiting for that in the remake. It's like, Kelowna just kind of gets sucked up into the sky, but here we see the hole into another realm. And the sky is dark and desaturated. Everything's gray and sad. struggling a lot more in this cutscene as well like look how much they're like jerking back and forth trying to hold themselves against the wind I think this cutscene is a lot better than the remake
Yeah, there's a lot more effect on the land, too. The grass is yellow. Desaturated. But all of the grass comes back, whereas in the, uh, in the remake, all the grass is just kind of fine. Much better in the original. The bad side of using in-game assets, yeah. But yeah, that was um, that was the remake of Door to Phantom Isle, and um, I think tomorrow I'm gonna stream Klonoa 2 all the way through. That'll be the second, third time I've streamed it. I don't know. But uh, that is the one that is close to my heart, personally, because it's the first one I played. But yeah, that was Klonoa, two, Klonoa 1. And I much, I, I think Klonoa 2 has a lot more stuff in it. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna see if there's anything for getting those rescue things in Klonoa 1. Let me see. I can return. Unlocked hard difficulty. Unlock time attack. Movie viewer. Okay. Uh, options. Ooh, costumes. Moo impersonator. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, difficulty. Two hearts. Wait, no, one heart. Wow. Just one hit and you're dead. Wow. All right. So yeah, uh, let's say tomorrow. Yeah, four hour game. But it's still got a little bit of extra content, like getting 100% and getting all, rescuing all the people. And time attack and hard mode and stuff like that. Like, I like those minor replayability stuff that they used to have in games. Because nowadays, modern games don't even have that. Happy it's not long? Yeah, I'm kind of glad that it's just kind of like pleasantly short. I think uh, two is the perfect length though. Two is a little longer, but the perfect length in my opinion for the story that it's telling. Oh, look at the new intro. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I think this one's gonna hold up a lot better um, and there's not gonna be as much translation uh, with stuff, but we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna do that tomorrow um, Because I'm hungry and I think this is a good place to call the stream uh, Thank you everybody for joining me uh, For this I have a newfound appreciation for the first game So yeah tomorrow We're gonna be we'll be going through the second game Yeah in the meantime Let's look for someone to raid Let's raid somebody else who's playing Klonoa. Let's give Klonoa a lot of love. Let's see, uh... Let's, let's give Klonoa some love. Who else is playing it? For those of you who want to watch Klonoa 2, let's, let's raid someone playing Klonoa 2, actually. Uh, ba 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 Klano... Klonoa 2. Who's a plane? Who's a plane? Actually, no, let's do Klonoa 1, sorry. Klonoa 1, in case anybody who doesn't want to get spoiled and want to tune in for the next stream tomorrow. Um... Oh, somebody's 100%ing the, the first game. Uh, Hey, you guys want to watch somebody 100%? This person is called... Patra uh, Petrainer, Petraner, Pet Petrainer. Uh, they seem to have a very cute VTuber avatar. So, let's raid them. There we go. Uh, invalid username. Raid Petraner. What shall our raid message be? What do you think? What raid message? Do we just all want to shout Wahoo? <laughs> wahoo, yeah, let's let's all yell wahoo at them. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, watch tomorrow for one of my favorite games of all time, Klonoa 2. Thank you for uh, tuning in. Bye.
Wahoo!